Since Apple released iOS and iPadOS 14, we've been able to customize our home screens with widgets. One popular third-party app is Widgetsmith. It allows you to create custom widgets using photos, calendars, weather, health, reminders, and others. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the setup and how to use Widgetsmith on your iPhone. It's also available for the iPad. Is it free? Yes. Widgetsmith is free to download, but there is a premium subscription. Premium gives access to the weather widget, tides, and exclusive styles, but it's very usable without spending any money. You can download Widgetsmith from the App Store. I'll place a link in the video description. Let's get started. Go ahead and open Widgetsmith from the app library. You'll find uh, this is the icon. This is what it looks like. You can also search for Widgetsmith if you click on the top. So go ahead and open it. And when you come into the main uh, settings area, you'll see that widgets at the bottom left-hand corner is highlighted. You'll have the option to create a small widget, medium or large. You'll also have a learn how to area where they will walk you through how to create a widget. There's also premium features, which you have to sign up for and pay for, but we don't need to do that. Along the bottom, you'll see widgets, tools, what's new, help, and settings. If you come into the settings area and you go to the app privacy permissions area, this is where you have to give access to things like your photos, your location, your health, if you're going to use the health app, your health information, your calendar. So it should ask you when you create your first widget, but if it doesn't, go into that area and give permission for the things that you want it to be able to access. You can come into the tools area as well, and you'll see things like your photos and what you've given access to. So I've given access to my recent photos. I've also given access to my favorite photos. And so you will have the options to give access to specific things. So go ahead and check out those settings and tools along the bottom. You can also go into the help area and, you know, find frequently asked questions and how to get started. Let's come back to the widget section. Let's start by creating our first widget. I am going to add a large widget to the home screen. And when you tap on that, it immediately takes you into the style section. So here's where you would choose the type of widget that you want to create. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the reminders widget. Any widget that you see that has a star next to it is a premium feature that you don't have access to. But I'm going to go ahead and come down and I'm going to find the reminders widget and I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And then we can from here uh, make that widget look the way we want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on aesthetics. And here we have an option to choose how we want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead and choose powder and I'm going to choose, uh, you can customize this seam so you'll, you'll even have more options if you choose customize theme and you can pick a um, type of font and I'm going to just leave it as New York and then you can also change the background uh, if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and choose dark sapphire as the background. And then there's a border color. I'm going to leave that as white. And if you come into artwork, you can have, you know, little things that, you know, show around the border maybe. But again, a lot of those are premium features. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and say save. And a pop-up pop is going to appear and say, do you want to apply this to all of your widgets or just this particular widget? I'm going to go ahead and just say this widget. I'm going to tap on that. And now I'm going to tap on lists. These are all of my reminders lists. I can pick and choose what I want. For now, I'll leave everything checked off, but you may not want to do that. Then I'm going to come into filters and here I can choose that reminders due in 24 hours, 48 hours or next week or all reminders. I'll leave it as all reminders. I'm going to tap on back 
And now I'm going to tap to rename the widget so that it's something memorable for me. So I'm going to tap on rename and I'm going to make this widget, since it's reminders, I'm going to list it as reminders. And now I'm going to tap on save. And so now I have a large widget created and now I have to get it onto my home screen. I'm going to swipe out of Widget Smith and come to an area on my home screen. I'm going to push and hold on an empty area. I'm going to tap on the plus sign and I'm going to scroll to the very bottom. And you'll see Widget Smith. Go ahead and tap on Widget Smith and then find the size that you created. And we created a large, so I'm going to tap Add Widget. And now you'll see that the widget is empty right now, but we're going to tap on any area of the screen to stop the shaking, push and hold on large, come into where it says edit widget, and then we're going to choose the widget that we created. So I'm going to tap on choose. I'm going to choose reminders. And now when I tap on that, now I see a list of all of my reminders. And so that's how you can create a widget in Widget Smith. If you followed the steps above and previewed your widget, you should see an option to add a timed widget in Widget Smith. Timed widgets allow you to add up to 12 different widgets, which automatically change throughout the day. For example, from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., you can display your calendar events. From 9 a.m. to noon, you could display reminders. And from noon to 5, maybe you'd like to add your step count. There are many different options available. Let's walk through how to add a timed widget. To create a, a timed widget, we need to go back in to Widget Smith and tap on one of the widgets we created, or you could create a new one, but I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the widget that we created. And below that, you'll see an option to add a timed widget. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And the first widget is the default widget, which is the reminders widget. And we want to choose a time frame that we want this widget to show on the widget app. So I'm going to go ahead and select 6 to 9 a.m. And now I'm going to hit the plus sign to add another widget. And I'll tap on uh, the black area of that widget to create it. And this time I'm just going to create a, a photo in an album. So I'm going to click on that and we can choose the theme that we want to use. And I'm just going to say adventure. I can customize that theme if I want, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. And then I can pick the album that I want to draw the photos from. And I'm just going to use favorites. And now I've created that widget. And now I'm going to make the time frame on this from 9 a.m. until noon. And so now we've added the second widget that will be part of that widget stack. I'm going to add one more. I'll hit the plus sign again. I'll tap on the black part of the widget. And this time I'm going to go ahead and come down and just use the activity and goal. So I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to tap on the theme and I'll choose superhero. And to customize this theme, I'll come in and the font I'll use is New York. And the background color I'll choose, uh, I'll choose uh, aqua. And I'll leave the border as is. Well, maybe I'll change the border to white. And the artwork I'll leave as none. And I'll go ahead and I'll tap on save. And it says apply to this widget. And I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to come back. And now you can see that we have three widgets, but this widget I'm going to show from 12 until 5. And I'm going to tap on Save. And so now in the Reminders widget, I have created a stack of widgets. And when I swipe up and come to the home screen, you'll see that the last widget we created, uh, which is the Activities widget, is showing now because the time frame right now where I'm located is 4.30 and I have set that widget to be um, 
it, it'll go until five o'clock. So sorry that I can't show you that part of it, but we know that if I come into those widgets from six to nine, the reminders app is going to show from nine to noon, my little photo, uh, my favorites album is going to show. And from noon to five, my activities and goal uh, app is going to show. And that's how you create a timed widget. To edit a widget inside a timed widget, you just need to tap on that widget. So if I tap on the little photo widget, I can delete it by uh, just clicking on the trash can in the upper right corner. And when I do, that goes away. I can delete any of these. Let me go ahead and just tap on save and leave them for a minute. If I want to uh, choose the reminders and edit it, I can come into the reminders. I can edit anything that I want. I can delete it. But this is where you would do all of your editing or if you needed to delete that, uh, that widget. The other thing that you can do is swipe to the left and that will delete the widget and anything else, any timed widget that's inside of that widget, it would delete those as well. To remove a widget from your home screen, just push and hold on that widget until the pop-up menu appears. And you can either edit the widget, edit the home screen, or remove the widget. And if I choose to remove the widget, it removes it from the home screen, but it doesn't remove it from inside of Widgetsmith, which means that you can always go back into Widgetsmith and add it back to your home screen. That's all there is to it, to creating beautiful widgets on your home screen. The Widgetsmith app is easy to use and fun to customize. Your home screen can become an informative hub with all your information. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.